Before beginning to assemble your stand, please make sure you've received all of the parts listed on the parts list. You can follow along with the instructions provided in the box. Start by placing the center rod through the hole in the base of the stand. Tip the stand on its side and place the star washer over the bottom of the rod, then secure using the nut provided. Using your vice grips, clamp them on the center rod and then tighten the nut on the bottom using your wrench. Stand the stand back up and place the cushion washer over the center rod into the base. Place the tulip over the center rod onto the cushion washer and then put the tube over the center rod making sure to line up the notches in the tulip. Make sure that the loop on the flange is at the back of the stand. Place the star washer and then the nut inside. and then tighten using your wrench. Once the stand is assembled, place it on the ground and shake to make sure that it's secure. Then tighten again with a wrench at either end. Place the key in the lock and turn counterclockwise to remove the lock. Take the lid off and then remove the service head. Take the body out of the base and your machine is ready to mount on your stand. Place the base on the stand, lining up the holes. Use the screws provided, placing them in the four holes and then tighten them. You'll need to use the number two Red Robertson screwdriver to tighten the screws. These are available from Beaver or from most hardware stores. Please make sure to tether your stand to the wall. This will prevent it from falling over. You can follow along with the instructions provided. Attach a quick link to either end of the tether strap. One of these links will attach to the stand and the other will attach to the anchor that you'll screw into the wall using the anchor plug. 